Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and today we're talking about my favorite fall lip colors. I've waited as long as I possibly can. Now that we are in mid-September, I feel like it is fully socially acceptable. In fact, I might be a little bit late to starting the fall content. It's my favorite time of year. It's my favorite type of makeup. And subsequently, these are some of my favorite videos to make. I am going to do a fall favorite palettes as well. Let me know if there's any other fun fall-tastic content that you want to see. But today, it's all about lip colors. And I have 12 lip products that I'm taking into the fall season. We have not only a range of shades, although these are mostly on the warmer side, but those are the types of colors I like to wear all year round, so it's no surprise that those are my fall favorite lip colors. I also have a range of finishes, everything from matte liquid lipsticks to tinted lip oils and everything in between. We also have a range of price points. I have some indie brand picks, some drugstore, some high-end. Everything is between $8 and just under $30, most of which are more in between. A lot of these are around that $12 price point. So I'm hoping that by having a variety of colors, finishes, textures, and price points, there is going to be the perfect lip color in here for just about everybody. Some of these I've had for a really long time and you've probably seen appear in many other videos over the years on this channel. Others are newer additions to my collection, but I'm pretty sure I've showed all of these lip colors at some point on the Makeup Just For Fun channel, but I'm collecting them all here in one video for you today. These are my top 12 fall favorite lip colors based on not just the colors that I like and the finishes that I prefer from the brands that I rely on, but I'm also thinking about the other makeup that I like to wear, cheek colors, eyeshadow colors, and what shades I need to pair with those other fall makeup favorites that I keep reaching for. And that's really how I came up with this list. These are not in any particular order. This isn't a ranking. Enough of the explanation. Let's get into the lip swatches now. We're starting off with this really soft, very neutral toned pinky brown tinted lip oil. This is from Ulta Beauty. It's their juice infused tinted lip oil in the shade Buff Babe. Next, we're moving on to a long loved favorite formula of mine. This is the Colorstay Satin Ink from Revlon. I have a whole review on these. I absolutely love these, especially this warm terracotta nude shade called Wild Ride. Next up is a newer one to my collection. This is the Signature Lipstick from Merit. This is in the shade Tiger, and this is almost a sheer formula that can like layer up to be more opaque. So I like the versatility of this particular color. Now we have one of the more pinky tones in today's video. This is the Shine On Lip Jelly Gloss in the shade Sesame from Tower 28. This one is going to really shift gears to another sort of mauve pink type of color, but this is a matte lipstick from L'Oreal. This shade's called Nonchalant. I've talked about this one a lot. It's been in several of my monthly favorites. Great year-round shade for me. Now we have another drugstore lipstick. This one's from e.l.f. This is their satin finish lipstick in the shade Drive. I love a really neutral undertoned brown base nude, if you haven't noticed, and that's why I love Drive. Next is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Grunge. Grunge is described as a plummy brown. On the ColourPop site, it looks a lot more brown on the models. It pulls more plum on me, but it's a really nice in-between shade. Now we have the Milani Color Fetish Matte Lipstick in the shade Desire. This is more of a true brown, and this would be a beautiful nude lip color on somebody who has a deeper skin tone, particularly if you want a warm nude. This shade is a warm terracotta type of brown shade. It's Profits from Propa Beauty. I haven't busted this particular shade out in a while, and fall just made me go straight for Profits. 
Same with the shade Gallop. This is a ColourPop Luxe lipstick and Gallop has the most gorgeous orangey red rusty fall lip color. I've loved Gallop for a long time and I am going strong with Gallop in 2023. Same with another favorite from last year. This is the NYX Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream in the shade Faux Fur. This is just a little bit deeper than Gallop if you're looking for something with a little bit more depth. And lastly, the Kaleidos Cloud Lab Lip Clay in the shade Cognac. This is the deepest shade in today's video and this Cloud Lab Lip Clay formula is perfect for a deep vampy shade in my opinion because it's super comfortable but it's also incredibly long wearing. I don't have to worry about this smudging all over the place, wearing off in a weird way. That's why I love the deeper shades in the lip clay formula particularly. After seeing all of those lip swatches individually, I wanted to show you a comprehensive arm swatch with all of the shades that I showed you today. That way you can get a sense for how they are similar and different. There are some subtle differences between several of these shades. So I wanted to make sure that you got to see them side by side and not just in individual lip swatch shots. I know that with this range of shades that I've pulled for fall. I'm going to have something for every occasion to pair with every eye look, especially now that I'm starting to really pull out the fall, Halloween, autumnal, spooky, toasty tones more than ever. These are the perfect lip colors to pair with those type of looks. Those are my top 12 favorite fall lip colors. I would love to hear what colors you're reaching for this autumn. Also let me know if you want to see any other fall favorites or fall themed eye looks, build your own palettes, home decor haul. I have one of those coming too. I always love to hear your suggestions and I love to hear what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Excuse me. Uh, hold on. Gotta rehydrate. I'm filming a lot today, so this is my voice. Okay, I'm fine. What was I talking about? I don't know how to speak French. I apologize. This one matches my shirt so perfectly. And my little fall earrings. Cute. Oh my gosh, a squirrel just knocked on my window. What the heck? Sir, are you lost? Okay. Woohoo. Made it to the last one. Made it to the last one. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I did it. Yay. I filmed all my lip swatches. Yay. Even if this is my one great achievement for the day, I'll take it. I wish that you could feel how soft and comfy this shirt is. It's really cute. It has like a little collar, but it's not buttons. So it's sort of casual, but sort of a little bit fancier than just a t-shirt, but it feels so comfy. I got it at TJ Maxx. Let's hope these lip swatches don't mess up my makeup because my base makeup looks really good today. I kept it kind of subtle on the cheeks because I really wanted my eyes to be the star of the show. I filmed this eye look. If it's not already out, it will be soon. It's the Adept Sumerian Sunset Palette and it is so pretty. All right, focus. Don't get distracted by your shiny, shiny eyeshadow. Crushing it. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more fall-tastic and spoopy fun content coming soon. And I'm happy you're here. I'm always happy you're here. You want to know why? Did you guess? It's because I love your face. All right, I'll see you really soon in another video. Come in in a couple days, in a day or two or three or hopefully soon. Okay, anyway, see you soon. Bye. Thank you.